A second arrest has been made in that shooting that happened in Round Rock, Texas over the Juneteenth holiday weekend in which two women were shot. We know that 17-year-old Ricky Thompson Jr. has admitted that he fired a gun three times. He says that he shot a 17-year-old that he was having an argument with. Now, this second person that is behind bars, this is a teenager that is so young, younger than 17, that he was taken to the juvenile detention center. So at this point, uh, Ricky Thompson III, his bail has been set at a million dollars, and we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening with the younger teen. But in this shooting, you do know that two mothers were shot. A mother who's an attorney with three children, one uh, as a baby, and a, another mother who's a school teacher, who's a daughter who just got married and is expecting a baby. And in addition to this, other people were shot, most of them women and children. Here's another lady who was uh, injured. She was there at Juneteenth with her children when these other children, these teenagers, who had no business being unchaperoned, 17, 16 and under, walk into a family event and pull out firearms and start shooting people down. It was actually very horrific, kind of ridiculous and mad and upset, actually. I have one bullet hole to my left thigh. It actually went in and went back out. Well, Tanya Ray was walking, looking for her husband and her children when she was shot at the Juneteenth festivities. We just actually heard it and then felt it, not actually see what actually happened. She just started stampeding towards the outer section. She, she didn't know she was shot. She was so busy trying to get her kids to safety. I couldn't, like, feel shot because my kids are there. So I just kind of, like... Just went, went, went with it, I guess. She was rushed to the hospital. Blood transfusion was the most furry time. They said I've lost a lot of blood. They gave me two liters of blood in the hospital. As of this report, only two people have been arrested so far. One of them is a 17-year-old teenager named Ricky Thompson III, where police say that he pulled out a weapon and willfully and recklessly and intentionally shot another 17-year-old. And in addition to that, another teen was recently arrested. That teen, too young to be charged as an adult, he's been taken to a detention center, and we are waiting to hear more details on that case. But so far, only this teenager, Ricky Thompson III, has been named, and they've been able to connect him to shooting another teenager. We don't know yet if any of his bullets took the lives of the mother the two mothers, the attorney and the school teacher.